ladies and gents, good morning, and we are live from camp, like Levi was saying. <laughs> right here, we have our second shed hunt giveaway winner. His goodies all going on right there. I like What's it. Up, I like guys? it. <laughs> Don't forget to smash that like button. <laughs> Go ahead and introduce yourself. Oh uh, yeah, my name is Levi from uh, the Mountain Rat page. Won this trip through Wes's uh, giveaway. Super grateful and super excited. We're about to go smash it. And I'm so pumped. Oh, yes. So thank you for having me, man. I no, thank it. you. I appreciate all the support and just everything that you do. So thank you. And we're about to go lay down some boot tracks and go find some sheds. Do it. Let's do it. We have Mr. Coulter, Mr. Borderland Supply oh, himself. We're just staying fresh out here. This is an un unpaid sponsorship, but... Uh, fresh and so clean. <laughs> yeah. You almost caught me uh, giving a little swipey swipey, but... Maybe you need to show the people the goods, get them excited. Yeah, maybe a little <laughs> bit. You'll have to say that after we get a few antlers picked up. It's morning, early. It's like five o'clock, but you wouldn't know it because it's... Right. Sun shines just differently out here, and you don't know where that is, but that doesn't matter. All that matters is y'all have fun, get after it, and uh, Wes, thanks for having me. Thank you. And uh, he only brings me along because he thinks I can flip a burger pretty well. It's all that McDonald's experience, but yeah, probably find the least, but... You're already setting yourself up for failure. What are you doing? Just what are you doing? Expectations are here, <laughs> and then it's going to go through the roof later, so... Fair Just enough. Yeah, we uh, are actually in a very familiar place. We should be finding some deer and elk sheds. This guy back here, he's a weirdo. He wants to find deer sheds. I put us in a spot that we can find both deer and elk. It should be a damn good time, so come along this little venture. Let's go have some fun. Hey. Huh. Cheers. Cheers. Get bucked up. There you go. Bow. <laughs> All right. We have made it to our hiking destination. We're about to split up, go our separate ways, and see what we do here. What's everybody's goal? Sheds. Come on. Sheds. Heavy. Yeah. Yeah. He wants to be heavier than he did on the way in. Yeah. He's like, at least my pack's going to be lighter as the day goes on, drinking all my water. And Wes is like, that ain't a good attitude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my goal is a brown elk set because I have not found a brown elk set in my life. So silly, I know, but I hope it happens today. It's a good goal. How about you, Levi? Man, just give me one good, one good deer shed. I don't. I'm not picky, but if I set the bar low, then everything else is just a bonus. Hell yeah. And I told them I want three elk sheds, 10 deer sheds. <laughs> <laughs> so 13, I guess, for the day for myself is the goal. We're in some very familiar country. Let's get after it. We're just getting started. So I don't know what we're gonna find today. Oh, look at this. Looks like it had horns at one point in time the word horns I just like it I know they're not horns you know how it is anyway we're just gonna start hammering this and we'll see what we find all right guys been side hilling this back behind me coming across working towards big bull that I want to get to and just happened to look down on all the sage and I just barely caught like that much of a tine can't even tell what it is, so we're gonna go down and go grab it. And I did find a chalky two earlier, but it was all broken, tiny. We used it as a shed sacrifice. <laughs> Didn't really feel the need to pull out the camera for that one. Heading down to this one, let's go see what it is. Alrighty, walking up on her. Ooh, ooh, he is cool. That is a big two with, look how big that eye guard is. That's cool. Big old deucey. Chalky though, very chalky. Ah, but look at that. And he has a little something something at the top right there, but that eye guard is cool and he would have been just laid out flat like that. Very nice, good start. It's two chalky two points and we're heading that direction and we're gonna just keep glassing, see if we can find something else. Well, been hiking for a little while and Got the sweat, not even a ran, that thing's filling up the whole front, but finally got into the first shed. It's been a little bit of a slow start. Wes, I know has two two points. I now have a first two points. So I'll turn it around and we'll pick this little dinker up. All right, a little bladed action on the little main beam there. <laughs> but uh, yeah, he's old. 
see if we can get some more. So I was back over there, glassed that guy up. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that cute little guy. He's actually kind of cool. Very old, chalky, small, compact. He's cool. We'll put him on the Scott Hunt app. Keep going and all this stuff. Keep glassing. I just freaking may have found a giant, giant deer shed. I just got up the, up here. I looked down right here and I was like, that looks a little off color. So I put my binos up on it. And look at that gnarly, gnarly base of a deer shed. So let's go check this out. Like it could be a tank because I see big, there's a lot of mass in the eye guard, but old, old. Yeah. Yeah. Holy crap. Dude, what an ancient, ancient shed. Look at that freaking split eye guard. What? Bro, that is so cool. I'm too new at this to not get freaking jacked out of my mind. So sorry for the, uh, <laughs> the absolute excitement, but dude, that thing was hiding. I just saw this from only like 20 yards away and I had to put my binos up because it just had that off color in the grass too. Just freaking gnarly grass. You never know what's in it. And boom, old, old, old deer shed. Yeah, look at all this crusty been collecting okay dude that is a good good deer shed holy freak yeah i can't fit him in frame barely Woo, let's pick him up all right fun good size shed <laughs> he's old he's lost some weight but he is a chunk look at that guy just heavy 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 buck ancient freaking thing look at that look at that split eye guard we'll take that i wish you could find them sooner you know but it's cool to find them anyway i love that i've never i've seen deer harvested with a complete t at top but that is that is really cool okay so it's been two hours it's 10 o'clock started at eight and i have just been hiking everywhere glassing i spent a lot of time glassing just looking for anything working around this hill and uh, i did find chalk set right here three on one side little fourth on the side but they just laying like foot apart pretty cool for a set so finally I'm on the board but we'll keep looking glassing hasn't done anything for me so luckily I just stumbled across these wish I could find more all right I glass an elk shed from a while away ways away you never know how big they are. I had a feeling he either was a smaller bull or else he broke off his royal and stuff. And so <laughs> he is a busted up, really good bull, but busted up. <laughs> That's too bad. Gosh dang it. The angle I was on, I had this bush in front of me. I didn't know if he continued, but I said to the guys on the radio, he's either old and or he either broke off or he's uh hiding or he's got like, a short back end so he's a good bull though check out this base he was mature for sure gosh dang it that would have been sweet that's a good sized bull definitely a fighter ventured over into a burn just walking through looked down and spotted that little guy very nice. Gonna keep venturing through, glass what I can of the burn, and hike through it. See if we can find some more. Maybe luck into a milk shed or two. So I have this two point that I found just right back there. Came right here in this little wash, and holy crap! Look at that spike shed. 
Oh my goodness. Look how tall that is. That is crazy. That is a big spike shed. That's actually kind of cool. I like that. I was just walking in this wash right here. You can actually see some bull tracks right here. That's not a brown, but you can still see some elk tracks. Crazy. Maybe there's some more elk sheds all up in this burn. Well, let's take a look at this thing. <laughs> Broke a little piece off, but that is tall spike shed. We'll take it. Keep going up that way. guys this is crazy I was clear back there and as you can see this tree right here once once I show you this it's pretty wild I could only see a little front fork like what it looked like to be a little front fork this is what it was oh my goodness that was a hell of a spot I'm gonna pat myself on the back on that one I seriously could only see like that much of that time and like another little inch of that time because the way I, I was glassing I was clear back there and I had this angle so the tree was blocking it and I just took you know I was like ah eh, I'll just go see if it's a shed and I'm glad I did right there that is a decent little four nice little forks on him and he's in the wide open like if you're back here he's in the wide open Where's his other side? Interesting, but that's awesome. We'll take that. Let's go ahead and pick him up. <laughs> he is cool. That is not a bad antler right there. Really boxy, good front fork. Look at that main beam swoops in like that. Nice little eye guard. We like those type of sheds right there. Let's find some more, maybe match them up. Well, apparently I need to start hiking close to this road and just go back to the truck right next to the road because there's another old one. That other one was just right back down over there. Well, that nice. I will keep on picking them up if they present themselves. Let's maybe find some more as we go back to the truck. All right, guys, I'm heading back to the truck. The truck is literally just on the other side of those trees right there. What is that right there? Oh, it looks juicy and it's brown. Oh, it's juicy. Tall G2. <laughs> oh, yes. That is what we're looking for out here. Oh, where's your other side, bud? Gonna have to do some circles in here, just right next to the truck. Oh my goodness. That's a good buck. That is a good buck. Not the biggest front fork, but his main beam is long. And then that G2. Ooh, love it. That is sweetness. All right, let's pick him up. Ooh. Yeah. That is a nice antler right there. Nice brown. Let's match him up. Good G2 on him. Not like the m biggest forks, but... He has some decent length on him, that main beam. We like that. Decent sized base, broken eye guard. Boom. Let's find his other side. Woo. Well, we got Happy Mother's Day balloon. Seems like they must have not love their child and didn't want their balloon. Hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to day two of the Shed Hunt giveaway. We're playing doctor back here. Coulter has some blisters and uh, Levi is just doctor. assisting him. Assisting? No, he's not. Showing some assistance and or just filming as well. And or 
But last night was a little, little interesting. Uh, we forgot propane, so we couldn't cook any food. Had to go all the way back into town, grab propane, so we ate in town. Came back out, and last night we got to bed a little late. It was like around midnight. We slept in a little bit this morning. We're up, ready to rock and roll. Let me tell you the best thing soon about as, that. Soon as Coulter is done playing doctor on himself, we can uh, get rocking and rolling. Here's the saving grace, right? Last night, there was no moon whatsoever. Like, new moon, no moon. So the sheds, they're gonna be out a little a little longer today. So even though we're slowed down, like they're gonna bed up, they're they're not gonna be hiding as, as quick today. So we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find them. Yeah. Yeah. So what we found yesterday. Not like the best day, but not a bad day. Nobody got skunked. Everybody found something. And then Coulter found this guy. This uh, would actually be a decent bull if he was not broken. He'd be like 350-ish. That's like 20 inches. He's missing some right there. Big third. Great mass. We're going to double this pile today. Yeah. So like I said, once Coulter's done playing doctor on himself, we're going to be heading out. We're going we're gonna to find some sheds today. That's a guarantee. So I'm excited to have Coulter finally get done and to have us get the hell out of here and go find some shed. Do you have a goal for the day, Levi? Yeah, same goal as yesterday. Just one good deer shed. Nice. I like yesterday it. Yesterday I came out lighter. So today I'd like to come out a little heavier. <laughs> yeah, yep, yeah, that's the goal. How about you? What's up? I would like to just find a brown elk set. There you go. There you go. And I would like to find... 10 sheds today. That's the goal. And I want one keeper. One keeper, 10 sheds. Let's do it. All right, guys, we have split up, gone different directions. I was just coming up and over this first little ridge, looked down and glassed up the first shed and got the monkey off the back. So that's always nice. Just walked down to it and we have, we have that guy right there. Little four, all chalked out, but not a bad one little four we will take it and i'm gonna be glassing all this stuff and just trying to pick all this apart and see if there's something else in here maybe his other side maybe look into an elk shed or two but it's all the same type of country that you're seeing right here all right it's 10 30. i did glass something up that i think looks like an elk shed i only have my binos with me uh, 10 by 42, so it's it's hard to tell. But it's up there on that hill by this dead tree right there. I'm sure it's not visible. Maybe this? Right there somewhere. Like it might be hard white or chalk, but that's okay. Let's keep moving. Let's get up to it. Still looks like a shed. I'm gonna find out. This, this is old, look at this thing, it's all chewed up, pretty sure I'm not taking this with me, at least I found something huh, look at this though, it is just like splintered apart, old boy right there. Something's been getting its calcium. Well, there's one for the day at least. The thing is, I swear, I was looking at something bigger. I'm gonna look around for a minute and see. Cause I swear it was something else was longer, but um, we'll see, I'll look around. So I think I see an antler down there. It's either an antler or a bone, but it's very white. It's just a little guy it looks like. I think it's an antler, I'm pretty sure it is. So hop down there and check it out. Ooh, little, little, little guy. I'll tell you what, for whatever reason, everything looks bigger in my binos. The money maker, I'll hold it up like this so it looks bigger. Little guy. Man, for my binos, everything looks so much bigger. It's weird. I'm not an excellent shed hunter. You can probably tell. But we got one. Another chalk. 
The last one I didn't keep because it was like overly chalky. This one's right about there too, but I'll take it with. Just for kicks and giggles. Okay. Well, I was working my way up that little wash right there and boom. Spotted this old, <laughs> old, old chalky guy. But we'll get him put on the map and we're heading up there. Oh my gosh, there it is. Check this out. Yes, sir. Let's go get him. That looks good. I, I glassed him and uh, he's brown for sure. And he just sticks out. Look at that. Let's go get him. All right, here he is. That is awesome. Such a sweet, sweet antler. Yes. What a great shed. Holy crap. Brown. Dang. Some good bladed action on his royal. Dang. So cool, man. He's thick all the way through. His fifth there is super thick, bladed royal. I love that. All right, it's probably like a 330 bull. He's a little bit shorter in the back end, but man, I'll take him. I uh, super pumped. I wanted to find a brown uh, mature bull elk set. This is uh, halfway there. Hopefully no one else took the other side. Um, let's give him a lift. Oh yeah, he's heavy. Oh, <laughs> he's so thick in the back. Ugh. Huge sweeping third. Yeah. Great, great fronts. He's perfect all around. There goes my phone. I was up there glassing. Look down over here. Boom. Look at that guy. Nasty, boxy little guy. Has a broken inline back there. He's cool. He's actually very cool. Yeah. Broke a little something off there. Nice, massy, boxy guy though. We will take that. I'd love to find his other side. He's cool looking. Might even have some junk on that other side. So let's try to search in all this sage right here. And down in the bottom, see what we can do here. Okay, 12.30. Didn't walk too far. Just working through this. Um, saddle to go up over the ridge come across a little hard white i think it's hard white i'm sure it is laying down the sun but yeah another little twofer let's keep it going hopefully things will pick up soon all right i'm just up the hill a little bit and found this um Looks like a sheath. I'm curious what you guys would say it is. Like it kind of reminds me of a bighorn sheep. Sheath, maybe? Antelope sheath? I don't know. It's hollow. Got the sh shape, or the sheath. The sheath's the outside. I don't know. You know what I mean. The part that the horn goes over, right? but I wouldn't know. So, if you know what it is, holla. Finally found this guy. Spotted him up from a ways away as well. An old Chalky 3. Where are the browns? I'm seeing sign everywhere. There has been sign everywhere. There's sign there, sign there. Look at the elk poop down there, down there. Where are the browns and where are the elk sheds? I'm gonna keep on searching up and over right through here and see what we can find. Right there, right there. Looks like an antler to me. There we go. 
go. Nice, nice. Here we go. Chalker. Chalk, that's cool. Finally. It's been a minute. So I picked up um, four today. Left one behind because it was falling apart. So this will be my big one for the day so far. Still have like eight hours left, so we've got a long ways to go still. Who knows what we'll find. But I'm glad I come across this. Because I'm up on top of this hill. I thought about going down. I thought I'm gonna stay on the hill and work around to where I can get glassing advantage. So paid off. But uh, we'll keep going. Man, I love antlers. I feel blessed, you know? I feel so grateful to just be able to be out here and do this and to see these. Antlers are just neat, right? I mean, anybody who collects them knows they're just, they're special. So I recognize that and I'm just, so grateful to be able to do this, be part of this. It's just a beautiful thing, you know? Anyways, no more mushy stuff. Let's go find some more. Okay, so just picked up that three point, decided I better come up to the top of the hill where I could get a good glassing point. So then, saw that bad boy. Yeah, buddy. So that's exciting. I am so happy to finally pick up an elk shed. Man, that makes me happy. Am I gonna pick it up yet? I'm going to continue glassing while I'm up here. I gotta move around the hill a little bit so I can get a different vantage point. And uh, then I will run down there, pick it up and anything else I find. Woo, yeah. Hashtag blessed. Finally made it down to this bad boy. Oh, is that a brownie? It is a brown. Look at that. Look at a brownie. Big old well tail there. Man. Might actually be a uh, hard white, technically. Feels like it. Anyways, there it is. Beautiful. Broke off his first, but it's okay. It can be expected. Nice. Man, that's awesome. Yeah! Back at the top up there, glass down. <laughs> Look at that guy. That's a hard white. That is a big two, and he has an eye guard. But that is a very big two point. Dang. Where's your other side, buddy? We gotta match you up, cause you're cool. He's wide, barely any cracks in him. That'd be a sweet little match. Try to find him. All right, let's pick up this beast. <laughs> Look at that thing. That thing is huge. That is probably, if not my biggest two point, it is right there. That thing is gnarly. Oh, I love big twos though. That is sweet. I would love to match them up. Super wide. <clears throat> So I was out right over there, made a damn good spot through the sage and saw that. He's chalky, he would have been a three point, but not a bad size antler right there. Heck yeah. I'm gonna sit down and glass all this stuff. See if I can pull a couple more out of here. All right, it is 2.40. I've been glassing and hiking. 
there's up on, on that hill up there just chilling I hit these different spots looking out in different areas and I did see a white spot down here so we got this old chalker here but as you can see it has seen better days I might just grab it just for the photo you know but this thing is old but I'm gonna keep pushing through this taller sagebrush and see if I can find anything else and I'm gonna work my way back to the vehicle even though I still got a lot of time I just want to kind of I don't know I think I have to the same way I came in because there's some tall cliffs if I go up this other canyon I don't know I'll have to look on the map seems like it's a long ways before I can loop back around towards the truck but I'm gonna check out this canyon at least a little bit and then I'll look back around to the truck chances are I'll be there early but I'll unload the sheds I got and I'll go in the opposite direction for the rest of my time but we'll see what happens you never know I might end up somewhere I didn't expect to seems to be the theme of the day so we'll keep rolling see what else we can find so I was down there earlier made a big loop all up in here I'm just coming back and I just about walked right past this guy he looks like a brownie yeah brownie very nice nice little three we'll take it we're gonna keep going this way back towards the truck and see if we can find a few more maybe luck into an elk shed you never know just happen to look left oh that guy another brownie heck yeah little four point nice little brown we will take that haven't matched anything up today and this is the only the second brown so at least I'm getting into some browns gonna head up there see if we can find some more picked up that brown just right back there we got another one right there didn't even go that far got another one so that's awesome uh, it is the same side that one kind of looks like it might be a hard white now I kind of want to go back through over here and go through all these little draws that were in there if I just found the two right here real quick dang it and that actually is a another chalk antler another chalk little three but that brownie right there and this are real close to each other so me have to grid a little bit of this who knows I don't I don't know we'll see what happens well the old horn hunters not looking too shabby right now just deer sheds not too shab we can add some more though still have like three hours but like I said we're gonna head that way see what else we can see all right guys I have something so far off in the distance it looks like an elk shed but if it's an elk shed it is a weird one so like it makes me think that it might be a stick but I'm still gonna go out there and check but you, you never know you gotta go check those things so let's go let's go check <laughs> all right guys I actually moved angles and it it is for sure an elk shed and I think he is a freak I think he's a freak elk shed and then there's something in front of him may look like tines might be his other side might be something else I don't know but we for sure have at least two things to go down and go get so <laughs> oh I needed that elk shit I wanted it so bad so bad finally all right guys so here's the thing that was in front of him <laughs> big old deuce well I guess the three has a little something something but another big deuce like a freaking weirdo he is so weird there he is right there in the middle of your screen looks like a freak elk shed so i am stoked with that all right let's pick this bad boy up <laughs> another big deuce that thing is huge too dang but let's go 
over to this guy. I gotta see this thing. It's been killing me. I wanna know what it is. He is a brown shed. Is this really brown? Get out of here. What are you? Oh my goodness. It is a freaking. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at that thing. What are you? Oh, you're a badass. That is what you are. Look at that troll. Look at that warlock. That thing is so gnarly. Oh my goodness. Where's your other side? What are you? Oh my gosh. That thing's so cool. Look at the mass. I gotta put this stuff down just a sec. But guys, look at the mass. Look at the mass on that thing. What are you? I don't want to pick him up just yet. He looks dense. Look at that thing. He's so weird. He has so many different things going on right here. What the... He's so crazy. That is such a cool elk shed. Oh my goodness, I love him. I love him so much. This thing is so freaky. He is so freaky. And he's dense. Holy crap. <laughs> oh, that base is huge. Look at the mass. Oh my gosh. That easily weighs over 10 pounds. <laughs> Look at that. That thing is so freaky. That is gnarly. That, I don't know what it is about me and gnarly elk sheds, but I, I love them. I love him so much. Look at the character on this freak. Guys, oh my goodness. It's like he grew an extra little bubble on his pedicle right here. That is wild, but that is a dense antler. Holy cow. That thing is so gnarly. That is one of the coolest elk sheds I've ever found. If you guys can see all this character on him. Look at that. And it's just so much mass. That is insane. I did make it back to the truck. The truck is not here. Coulter must have uh, decided to go glass and I know he had a sore foot, so sore blister. And I'm a couple hours early at CM. Jeez. Two and a half hours early. So I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm about out of water. I'm exhausted. Maybe I'll push some of this poop aside and take a nap. Maybe I'll go for a walk. I don't know. Definitely gonna take my boots off, let them air out a little bit first. And my lips. They pink. Looks like I'm wearing lipstick. Guys, I walk right up there earlier right across there walking back to the truck look at that right there in the middle of your screen we got an elk shed looks like a brownie looks like a six point oh my goodness well would you look at that beautiful little brown six point we'll take that all day walking back to the truck <laughs> That is awesome. The truck is seriously just right up and over this hill right here. Oh, what a day. What a day. Stellar day. Where's his other side? I don't think I have a side off of him. I think this is a new bull, so. Heck yeah. We'll get him put on the Scout to Hunt app. And we'll uh, try to find his other side and keep heading back to the truck. <sighs> There we go. Nice little brown sixer on the way back to the truck. That's awesome. He's a decent bull. Definitely not the biggest out here, but we'll take him brown. Take that all day. So I've just been following this. Look what I just walked up on. What a freak of nature. Look at that buck. What is that? 
That thing is gnarly. Look at that. Whoa. What a day though. That is so cool. I'm gonna have to call this in because I want that. That's crazy. Super, super cool. What a day though. Hell yeah. It was a long day. I know for myself put in 12 miles. These guys each found brown elk sheds, so that's cool. Coulter found his first brown elk shed and brown deer shed on this trip. And Levi got into a couple, so that's awesome. And I just happened to walk the right, right lines and I actually glassed up a lot. I glassed up, I think everything, but like maybe two or three. Just got lucky behind the glass and found some unique and some cool stuff. We're gonna go back to camp, get some grub in us and Bed. Yeah. Night night. Night wake night. Wake up and maybe get a half day in tomorrow. And, Good job, uh, buddy. See how everybody feels. Yeah. Good stuff. <laughs> Ladies and gents, it is day three. We went out for a little hike. Kind of got our asses kicked, just a little bit. What, what do you have to say about the overall trip though? Man, it's been like, it's been really fun. We did get our asses kicked a little bit, but we still come out with plenty of sheds and just a great time. Lots of miles. I mean, just the exercise alone I'm happy about. I had to pick up one elk shed. I'm thrilled about and some uh, some deer sheds so it's been fun man just getting out here is amazing in itself just being able to pick up a shed I think is just such a unique thing that I just enjoy it I mean sheds are so cool and I just really appreciate the opportunity to come out with people that actually know what they're doing versus me <laughs> I wouldn't say that <laughs> usually when I go I find a lot of dirt and that's about it so <laughs> it's been good well, good. It's been awesome. No, and I just appreciate you being super cool and just all the support that you've done over the years. And so just thank you for everything. And we're going to get him all done up with his sheep feet right there. Look at those beautiful specimens. We're going to get his imprints and then we're going to ship those off to sheep feet. And then in a couple weeks, you'll be ready to rock and roll. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. So right here, we have sheep feet, and we're gonna show off how easy it is to get your imprints done. And then we're gonna have him just step ever so lightly with his whole foot right in this little section. We're gonna do it one at a time. So, go ahead and just fit your foot right there in the middle, and then go hill first, and then bring down your little toesies. You want me to put go, all my weight on it? Uh, yeah. Go hill first. Get in there, and then come down, and then I'll do this right there, good. Boom, 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 boom. Get his little toes, and then step out. Look at that. That's one hell of a foot right there. <laughs> and we're gonna repeat the process on this side. Go first, get that in there. Toesies. All right. Pull up, and there we have his cast, right there. Just like that, huh? Just like that. Very nice. Mr. Coulter, he is Mr. Borderland Supply, and this is what he does for a living, right here. He makes these beautiful trapper packs, and that was actually one of the prize packages for Levi to take home. And Coulter, go ahead and explain some of the components on this pack. Yeah, the fun thing about this pack is it's actually replicating like a 1910 patent on a pretty like innovative design for the time. People have seen these before, but they're just lost to history. And about four years ago, I decided to start bringing them back with the specific intention to give people an opportunity to like display a memory, whether it's a set of sheds, a euro, a deadhead or even take it to their taxidermist and put a bear or a deer and basically like relive the pack out with a pack mount. Didn't really plan on saying that, but it just happened. Giving you a chance to like 
change up the trophy room a little bit, right? But not rounding any corners. There's people that have, have liked this look, but no one's really replicating an actual antique design. And we are head to toe, 100% authentically recreated. Starting with a, an arced oak frame, pine uprights, completely functional straps. You can see rusted components there. And uh, the grommets are all aged. Coffee stained, cotton rope. Super, super freaking strong too. It's got a cable sitting here. But if you pull it through the, the strap opening, which is behind, you don't see the screw in the wall or the cable on the wall. 400 pounds strength. I've put this on the wall and hung on it, done a pull up on it. This is this has held a lot of weight, guys. This is super, super strong. The engineering on it's crazy. It's not mine. I just replicated it. But yeah, I want you to have this, my man. Yes. And uh, appreciate uh, having the fun time with you we've had. And I'm excited for you to be able to enjoy that, buddy. Dude, I appreciate it. And when I first saw this, I was amazed at like the love that went into this. And I really am not saying that just to like talk it up. It really is a beautiful piece of art, if you will. Oh, thank you. So my first thought was I've got a I've got an old deadhead from my grandfather oh, who passed sweet, away years dude. ago and I wanted to get it mounted and man, I just think that would be so cool to do that. Um, I've seen that done, but I also got some sheds that I thought about hanging on there. Maybe I'll do one and then do the other on another pack. So feel how this is on your back. Do a little Ooh, spin. Cozy. Is that do a little, like, yeah. Do a little spin. Oddly comfortable. There we go. <laughs> well, like I said earlier, today was a little bit of a slower day, but we got all the sheds laid out all nice and pretty. I'll turn this around and show you guys what all we found. So for starters, you got all your little junk pile down over here. And then it starts to get a little bit better, a little bit better. Back over through here, a couple little brownies. We'll take that. Got a couple bigger deer sheds back here. This one's actually pretty sweet. Little eye guard right there, how he splits. Very nice, very nice. And then we got the crazy warlord, warlock, whatever you want to call him. He's gnarly. And Coulter's big six dense and then check out the well tail on Levi's elk shed very cool character on that one another brown six point elk shed but all in all we found 36 sheds in basically two days of hiking not bad not bad and there's actually a few decent deer sheds in there just want to thank you gents so very much for everything Coulter thank you for bringing out the rig and the trailer cooking all of us delicious dinner got it, buddy. and Levi thank you so very much for the support and being willing to come out and paying for some dinner when we forgot some propane and just wallet. thank you for everything yeah and I forgot my wallet so yeah that that we didn't need to add that Coulter thanks well you said <laughs> you said paying for dinner when I forgot the propane <laughs> that didn't compute so I said wallet I get you, I get you. Well, thanks. Then there's paper Thank you for there. the correction. This but... guy makes a mean burger, I'll tell you what. Yeah. And he makes them perfect. Thanks, Puts man. the cheese on at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> Gets it blood soaking. <laughs> No, but thank you, gents, very, very much. Greatly appreciated. Good time, man. Yes, sir. One last look at the sheds right there. And as always, thank you to all of you watching. And if you would, go over to risingshed.com, go show your support and your love. And another big thank you to these guys. And you all know what I say. We'll see you on the next one. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. <laughs>